What's up, Jeff fans? Matt O'Leary back with another video. Today, I wanted to get into Madden's rating for Garrett Wilson and why it's uh, slightly ridiculous. Uh, you guys know the drill, Matt O'Leary and why on social media and the Just Jets podcast. New episodes drop every single Wednesday. All right, let's talk about the Madden ratings, which are beginning to come out. I want to make this clear. I'm not the biggest Madden player. I, this was Madden 2007, different story, but we are now in 2023. And Madden, while I tried to get back into it during COVID, uh, it was more just for, for fun. I'm not a good Madden player, but moral of the story, something felt off with this rating. And I think Madden snubbed our guy Garrett Wilson a little bit. So coming in as wide receiver 29 with an 84 rating. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Garrett Wilson, 29, 84. Seems a little bit on the low side for someone who had 83 catches, 1,100 yards, and four touchdowns with, bind you, by the way, Zach Wilson, Joe Flacco, Mike White, and Chris Strebler throwing him the football. And 84 overall is the exact same grade as what they gave Chris Olave. And I know, before we get to it, that, that yes, his grade and or rating, yeah, his rating is <laughs> Great. His rating could go up a little bit as the year goes on, uh, and he very well could progress his way a little bit higher. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you he deserves to be a top 10 rated wide receiver in Madden yet. Yeah, that's that's crazy town. But there are wide receivers in front of him who have a higher rating that I just frankly do not understand. For instance, Odell Beckham Jr. comes in at an 85. He didn't play in the league last year. He didn't play a single game due to injury, and it hasn't gone over a thousand yards since 2019. But he is an 85, ranked higher than the Offensive Rookie of the Year in Garrett Wilson. I'm not saying you drop Odell all the way down to a 60 or anything like that, but I don't know how you're justifying Odell Beckham, who didn't play last year, higher than the Offensive Rookie of the Year. How about Michael Pittman Jr., who is also an 85? Last year, 925 yards, four touchdowns. His career high in receiving yards is 1,082. Pittman's a solid receiver, but is he in the Garrett Wilson tier? I, I don't think so. That rating doesn't really make a lot of sense. How about Christian Kirk is an 85. He had 1,100 yards and eight touchdowns this past year. Your prior with Arizona was like 900 yards. Good receiver. I, I don't I don't know. I, I would think that Garrett would be a little bit higher than that, and especially the guy, his teammate, mind you, Calvin Ridley is an 85. He's played five games in the last two years. He's an 85 overall. I get he was a 1,300-yard guy in, what was that, 2020? And he's still young, but that, that seems high for both Odell and, and Calvin Ridley. I, I, don't, I don't know how they're both rated that high in this game. This next batch of guys is, are people who that I would put relatively close in that same tier, which is uh, DJ Moore at an 86. Brandon Ayuk is an 86. Godwin in 86, T. Higgins in 87, who had 1,000 yards, 1,029 yards, seven touchdowns. Amon Ross St. Brown, 1,100 yards, six touchdowns, is an 87. And Mike Williams, who had 895 yards and four touchdowns, is an 87. I just don't get some of the ratings in front of Garrett. And again, I'm not saying like this, that he needs to be a, a top 10, top 15. I would think close to top 20, but he's closer to... Being the 30th overall wide receiver than he is a top 20 wide receiver in the game, which just, I don't know, man, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Can it go up? Sure. But as of right now, he is the highest rated Jet uh, as, a, as an 84 overall. Uh, Adrian Amos is an 83 and is the second highest rated Jet as of right now. Uh, just weird. I don't know. Madden needs to change their stuff. This is, this is strange. So what do you think of Garrett Wilson getting a 84 rating? Yikes. 84. Sound off below. I'm Matt O'Leary and I'll catch you next time.